Hello learners, I welcome you all to the first session on projections of solids. As far as solid is concerned, solid is an entity or it is an object which has three dimensions that is length, height and width. There are different types of solids. So we will first of all see what are the types of solids. There are basically two types. One is a category called as polyhedron. So collectively the group is called as polyhedra and the other category is solids of revolution. Now under polyhedra there are various types of solids like there is a group called as prisms or pyramid or cube or tetrahedron. Now all these solids have top or face and base in the shape of regular polygon and there are bounding surfaces. So all these solids come under category of polyhedron and the second category is solids of revolution. Now in solids of revolution there is cone, cylinder and sphere. All these solids are obtained by revolving a plane surface about a fixed edge or about an axis. Let us see all these solids with the help of model. Let us start with the first category that is polyhedra. Under polyhedra we have first solid called as prism. Prism is a solid which has a regular polygon as base or face, base and face or top and both this base and face they are bounded by rectangular surfaces. So we see here this is one rectangular surface, here is the second rectangular surface and the third rectangular surface and face they are bounded by using with the help of these rectangular surfaces. Now terminology in case of prisms is this when I consider this uh, prism say lying on HP then I generally call this bottom part as base of the prism then this is called as top or face of the prism. Here these bounding surfaces which are in the shape of rectangular surfaces they are called as just a rectangular surface or collectively they are called as lateral surface then this is called as longest edge we call this as longest edge here is the corner of base and this length is called as edge of base the length of base is called as edge of base now in case of prisms axis is an imaginary line which joins top of the center of top to the center of base. So this imaginary line is called as axis of prism. So this is about triangular prism. Then we have rectangular or square prism. In this case I have this square prism because the shape of base or face is in the form of square. Then there are four bounding surfaces they are in the shape of rectangles. This is called as edge of base and imaginary line which joins center of top to the center of base is called as axis. While drawing projections of prisms, we need to know the length of edge of base and height of axis. So in the problem statement, generally edge of base is defined and the height of axis is defined. So in this case the shape of this face or top is regular pentagon and all these are bounded by rectangular surfaces so we call it as pentagonal prism. Again in pentagonal prism all the entities like age, longest age, age of base, axis are, they also exist in case of pentagonal. We have hexagonal prism because the shape of top or base is in the shape of regular hexagon that's why we call it as hexagonal prism. So hexagonal prism has six bounding rectangular surfaces. Next solid under polyhedron is pyramid. So pyramid is a solid which has base in the shape of regular polygon as we see here base is in the shape of regular polygon and there are bounding 
triangular surfaces you can see for this square prism there are 1 2 3 and 4 so there are four bounding surfaces which are in the shape of triangles and they all merge at one point this point is called as apex of pyramid or it is also known as vertex in case of pyramid an imaginary line which joins apex to the center of this base is called as axis while drawing projections of pyramid we need to know the length of edge of base and height of axis in case of pyramid this edge is called as slant height of the pyramid so this was square pyramid likewise we have triangular pyramid because the shape of base is in the shape of triangle and there are three bounding triangular surfaces which merge at one point which is called as apex or vertex of triangular pyramid. Depending upon the shape of base, this is pentagonal pyramid because the base is in the shape of regular pentagon and there are five bounding triangular surfaces which merge in one point called as apex of this pentagonal pyramid and we have this hexagonal pyramid which has base in the shape of hexagon and six bounding triangular surfaces merging in a point called apex so this is all about prisms and pyramids solid under polyhedron that is cube. Cube is a solid which has six square faces. You can see if I keep it like this, there are top and base in the shape of square. You can see the shape of this top and base is square and there are four bounding surfaces. They are also squares. So in all top and base these two and four total six square faces. That's why this is also called as hexahedron. While drawing projections of cube, we just need to know the age of the square side. That is, what is the side of the square? Most of the cases, we also define its solid diagonal. As far as solid diagonal is concerned, it is an imaginary line which joins extreme opposite corners. So if I consider this cube like this, then an imaginary line which joins this point, topmost point connecting this bottommost extreme opposite point. This imaginary line is called as solid diagonal. Tetrahedron is a solid which has four triangular faces. So there is one base in the shape of equilateral triangle and this triangle is bounded by three triangular equilateral triangular faces. That is now we come to the next category of solids of revolution. Solids of revolution as already told is a solid which is obtained by rotating a plane surface about an edge or axis. So we first of all see cone. Cone is a solid which is obtained by rotating right angle triangle about its axis by keeping that axis fixed and rotating the remaining part. So here we see this is cone. Cone is a solid which has base in the shape of circle and this is the bounding surface which is a curved surface in case of cone and this this part or this point is called as apex in axis is an imaginary line which joins apex to the center of this base so this imaginary line is called as axis whenever we draw projections of cone there are no existing edges on the cone Hence, we have to consider some imaginary edges or imaginary lines on the lateral surface of this cone. So like I have considered this one imaginary line on the lateral surface of the cone. Likewise, I can consider say this second line and so on. So I find here that there are infinite number of such lines which we can draw on the lateral surface of the cone. All such lines are called as generators of cone and they are not existing edges, we have to consider them as per requirement. So while drawing projections of cone, 
we generally consider 8 to 12 number of such lines on the lateral surface and they are called as generators of pole. For drawing projections of pole, we need to know the diameter of its base circle and height of axis. By knowing these two parameters, we can draw projections of this pole. Next solid of revolution is cylinder. Again in case of cylinder, we have face and base in the shape of circle and both these are bounded by a curved surface which is called as lateral surface of this cylinder. Again for cylinder, an imaginary line which joins center of face to the center of base is called as axis. As we see here, there are no existing edges on the surface of the cylinder. Hence, here also we need to consider an imaginary line on the lateral surface of this cylinder. And as we see here, if we consider such imaginary lines on the lateral surface, we get infinite lines. Such lines considered on the lateral surface of this cylinder are called as generators of cylinder. Again, for the purpose of projections, we consider 8 to 12 number of generators on the lateral surface of this cylinder. And for drawing purpose, we need to know the diameter of its base circle and height of axis. Here we come with the last solid of revolution which is called as spear. So spear as we see and everyone might have seen, so spear is a solid which is seen as circle from any direction. So if you look at this spear from front, from top, from side or even from any oblique direction, it, is, it will be always seen as circle. So this is all about different types of solids. In the next session, we will study how to draw projections of solid in simple resting position. Simple resting position is the position, for example, for the square prism, say this is the simple resting position whenever any solid is kept say on its base on HP. So how to draw projections in simple resting position will be the topic of discussion of our next session.